been so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure Yes It works I mean It's a cup holder but I'm still excited I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive it's just what I do when I'm out, so Try me not to hold me down Feel like when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Here's my cup holder. You know, I probably shouldn't have spent so much time making a cup holder, but here it is. I also installed these little electrical caps with USB ports and a cigarette lighter. Wiring and electronics can definitely be a little bit intimidating, but it's usually not super difficult in most cases once you kind of start to understand it. Unless, unless you buy a fire truck, apparently. I haven't had time to video everything, but I've spent more time wiring so far than anything else. I've rewired the main switch panel that used to control all the flashers and emergency functions of the truck and repurposed the switches to do what I want instead. A lot of time has been spent with this trusty power probe just poking around and cutting and cutting tons of wires that I don't need anymore. I've wired up this boost pressure gauge that monitors the output of the turbo. I changed all these red lenses out for clear lenses and these crazy flasher bulbs. I wired up a sweet CB radio. I love CB radios. I replaced a few of the flasher housings with LED light bars and I've spent some time soldering these cool waterproof connections that I can mount in different locations on the truck and plug whatever accessory I want, a light, a stovetop, a fan, whatever, into different ports on the truck. And I wired up a new head unit since apparently people don't listen to cassettes anymore. You remember the truck is a 1995. And I think more than anything, just trying to figure out how the whole system works and just spending a lot of time eliminating the bundles and bundles of wiring that I don't really need anymore in this truck. Things that went to communication buses and oxygen systems and fire health emergency things. I'm not a fireman, I don't know. Right now, for those of you who are interested, I wanna talk about the wiring in this truck. It is insane. I consider myself pretty good at wiring, at least I used to before I started working on this truck. <laughs> wiring is pretty simple. Take power, you run it into a switch, you take power, you come out of the switch, and then you ground whatever it is that you're trying to power. No, 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 not this thing. The wiring in this truck is like a mad, crazy scientist, crazy electrician, rather, lost his mind, just decided to create like the worst electrical nightmare he could possibly conceive and that's pretty much what I've been working with and while it took a while to figure out how everything worked whenever I wire up a new device I've installed my own little power circuit right here that pulls power separately from everything else that way when the truck is off and the truck batteries are turned off by this big main battery disconnect right here I can still operate the house part the part that we actually live in with separate batteries one thing you never want is to not be able to start your truck if your house batteries go dead you can't switch on your living room lights not a big deal but if all of your batteries are dead and you can't start your truck and your living room lights don't work that's not acceptable so I've created two entirely separate systems you've got the house batteries that operate all of the interior house like things you have the truck system that can be switched off entirely except for the charging system we're gonna have a good bit of solar power and that's trickling constantly into our house batteries we also have a wire coming from the alternator to the house batteries, and we have a cable from the generator that goes through the inverter that acts as a battery charger to charge the house batteries and the engine batteries at the same time so there's very little chance of us ever being completely out of power and since we plan to be off-grid way away from civilization pretty often that's a nice thing to have and that's about it for this episode guys thank you very much for watching sorry if I bored any of you with all those nitty-gritty details of the wiring this is some pretty nitty-gritty stuff we're dealing with and we've been getting tons of new parts in just boxes and boxes of fun stuff I can't wait to show you the progress with that we have a wood-burning stove that's super exciting probably gonna make a whole video about that until then thank you please let me know if you like this video and I'll see you later and I know this is my time now I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else no one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip
get my brain.